Hello again from Austin, Texas. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter holiday and Passover. And now we find ourselves in the Mad Dash six week sprint to the end of session. Sonny dies May 29th and it will be here very, very soon. We've been very bus busy since our last report and have been successful in getting our bills moving on both sides. And that's important because as the deadlines start to kick in, especially in the house, um, thousands of bills will meet their untimely and uh, ultimate demise. Um, and so we have to work very hard to make sure our bills don't get lost in the shuffle. Big picture, there's some uh, serious differences of opinion between the House and the Senate. Uh, they have both passed their versions of the budget, which are very uh, different in the way the state's two-year budget is funded. The bill is now in conference committee. That's the one bill that the legislature is constitutionally required to pass. And if it does not, we will find ourselves back here in a legislative session uh, prior to the next fiscal year uh, beginning in August. Uh, speaking of TAB legislation and our priority items, we've gotten the tree bill, Senate, 40, Senate Bill 744, out of the Senate. It's over in the House. Its companion, House Bill 2052, is going to be heard this week in the House Urban Affairs Committee. Uh, we were successful in getting the anti-linkage fee bill, 1449, out of committee, as well as the attorney's fees for vested property rights actions, House Bill 1704, out of committee as well. Both those bills are in the calendars committee, and I want to thank everyone who has um, responded to our calls to action and asked their legislators to support those bills. If you have not done so, please do so. Stay tuned to Legislative Line to keep up with these and our other priority bills as they move through the process. Also encourage you to look up the status of any bill on the Texas legislature online and to follow us on social media as we move towards the end of this legislative session. Again, please respond when we ask. It's crucial in the next few weeks as our bills are up before the full House or full Senate that you respond and let legislators know your position on the bills. That's one of the most powerful tools we have in advocating on your behalf at the Capitol. So thank you very much for doing that and please stay tuned for updates soon. Thank you.